All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is gonna be opening up and checking out this really cool cookware set, this kind of camping cookware set from Stanley. I have had some of their products in the past. I've had their smaller one, like the tumbler size one that has the two cups inside, and I was really happy with that. Great for camping, just throwing a backpack. And then I decided to upgrade and get uh, their, their biggest one that they have. This is their base camp cook set. And I'm just going to be unboxing this, showing you everything that comes inside of it, and giving my first overall, uh, like, first impression of it. Uh, like I said before, I have some of the other Stanley uh, small little cookware sets. I'm, I'm super fond of those, so I don't see why I would not be fond of this one. This one seems pretty cool. It says it can, like, serve up to four people. It's pretty impressive that they fit everything inside this smaller package. Uh, I did think that the box would be a little bit bigger, but, um, yeah, it's... Uh, 3.7 quarts or 3.5 liters, so it's almost a gallon you can fit in here, but it's not quite a gallon, so keep that in mind. It is the Full Kitchen Base Camp Cook Set by Stanley. Interesting logo, it's like a bear with a, a crown and wings, like some sort of Pegasus hybrid. It's the Adventure Series to kind of show what it looks like here. It's just like stainless steel with kind of a brushed finish. Um, it's got the, it's 21 piece nesting system, so it's kind of like those nesting dolls. Everything kind of seats inside of itself for really convenient storage. It serves up to four people. Locking fry pan handle. Yes, this thing has a frying pan inside, so we'll be checking that out as well. I just think these are super cool. I love compact like cookware and stuff. And this is great for like if you want to go camping, you can just grab this and then you know that you have uh, everything in here instead of having to go around your kitchen and grab everything. And it, it's such a small little space. It's, it's impressive, uh, the engineering that goes behind it. Uh, the full kitchen, the base camp again. Uh, let's just check out what comes inside of it. Uh, duh, it's made out of 18.8 stainless steel. BPA free, uh, three ply frying pan. Oh, that's interesting. I'm curious how thick the frying pan is. I wasn't sure if it's just like a piece of sheet metal. Uh, I guess it's a has some layers. It says three layer frying pan, stainless steel, aluminum, stainless steel. So I guess there's a, like an aluminum core. Uh, it's got locking fry pan handle, which is good. You don't want to be flipping anything or frying anything with the handle to go limp on you. Uh, burn yourself it's got the nesting system and it's dishwasher safe interesting so i guess i guess you can throw it in the dishwasher if so be let's just check out what is included in here set includes uh a to l you got a locking bungee it's like kind of the bungee that keeps it down you got uh the lid the vented lid it's got these little holes for straining very cool it's got the frying pan 7.25 inches diameter or 18.4 centimeters spoon with extending handle spatula with extending handle like uh the cookware and stuff I think have like some sort of locking system where they kind of clip into each other uh, just to kind of save space and be able to fit in here. You got the spatula with extending handle again. Uh, you got four bowls, super sweet, so it comes with four bowls, 22 ounces, 650 mil. Uh, it comes with four plates, so you get four bowls and four plates, so it really is going to be feeding four people. You got six inch plates, uh, 5.2 centimeters. Uh, Got a cutting board, so there's a cutting board here if you're gonna be chopping up whatever you'd like. You got four sporks, so universal. Whatever you wanna eat, you can eat it with a spork. Doesn't have any knives or anything like that. I wonder if you can find space to shove some knives in here. That'd be cool. Uh, a trivet, and then what do we got here? What is that, a trivet? I think that's where you put the plates in or something, or is that what you, I think that's what you put a hot pad on actually. It's probably some sort of rubber. You got a, a dish drying rack. Very cool, so you can wash the dishes. You actually have something to hold them in. And then you got the stainless steel pot itself. Again, 3.7 quarts, 3.5 liters. Built for light, uh, lifetime warranty. I've had the other one, uh, the smaller tumbler style one for years and have never had a problem with it. This stuff, it's, uh, it's mostly made out of like steel and uh, I guess like tough plastic for like the eatware. But yeah, very cool. Let's just open this up and see. I had a knife, oh, here we go. Just a little, just a little chop. Here we go. Okay, very right, cool. Packaged very nicely, pretty shiny. Let's just go ahead and take it out. And uh, this is the whole package right here. You can actually hold it by the handle. This kind of elastic strap is pretty tough. It's not like a jumbo pot, like your pasta pot at your house or something is probably bigger than this, but still you could totally make pasta inside of here, which is what I'm excited about. I definitely want to be cooking like spaghetti and stuff while camping. Uh, let's just kind of open it up. Again, stainless steel finish. Maybe I'll leave a little fingerprints, I'm not sure. Real nice, it says Stanley on the bottom. Very cool. Let's just take this off. This really tight elastic kind of band. Very interesting. It just kind of keeps the system Closed you got the lid. It's got the kind of the vents or the drains which I really do like so you don't have to bring like a strainer If you're making pasta literally just when you're done with it 
be careful, strain the water out and it'll just fall out the holes. It does have uh, an air hole up top so it will pour out easier. I do like that. Nice little handle. Uh, what do we got here? Very cool. If you can, if you can see, there actually is a diagram of how to put back all of the pieces. Uh, super nice because you're not going to have the box with you. The box has a diagram. This is one that's kind of laser etched in there so you can't mess it up. Because I'm sure it can be maybe a little bit confusing the order of which the things go back. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. It's kind of reflective. First thing we see at the top right here. Got a frying pan. A little piece of plastic in here. Not sure. Oh wow. This frying pan actually has some like some thickness to it. Wow, that's honestly impressive. Uh, way better than I thought. It's about like maybe like this thick the bottom. Something like that. Very cool. Way thicker than I thought. I thought it was honestly going to be about the same thickness as this pot right here. Very cool. The handle does lock. You can see you have to like push in. All right. You push in, you slide this up, you push in and it kind of locks. It's real simple. It just locks, clicks out. You slide this bracket down so it can't squeeze on itself and then it's locked in there. And you can go ahead and flip things. It does have a little bit of wiggle, but I'm sure if you like wanted to flip something, you could. Very cool, way thicker than I thought. Super happy with that. Definitely cook some great breakfast food or fry up whatever you want, vegetables. Again, these are like these kind of uh, these clip styles, extenders, just so everything fits because it is a small package. Maybe I put them on, you just kind of clip them in. I, don't, I think they're universal. I don't think it matters uh, which one you put it on. I don't think they would make it like that. It's like some thicker type of plastic. Maybe yeah, I put these on wrong. There we go. There we go. They clip, they locked in there. It's just they won't fit if they're fully collapsed or uncollapsed kind of built. Very cool, you got like a flat little spoon and a little spatula, tiny little spatula, but I mean there's a small little pan. Definitely flipping stuff, cooking stuff, very cool. I do like that. And the plastic quality seems pretty nice. And it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. Like I, I feel comfortable scooping stuff with that. You got some sort of a manufacturer warranty or, or something. Oh my, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to read that right now. Save that for later. We do have the bowls and stuff. Uh, one thing I will say on the image, oh no, I thought they were green. Uh, they are gray. Everything is gray. The, gris, the cutting board I guess is green and the plate rack. You got these four bowls right here, just very simplistic, thin but like sturdy. I'm not worried about them cracking like or breaking like a solo cup or anything like that. Again, even on the bottom of the bowl, it is imprinted how you put it back together. Very cool. <laughs> very nice, recyclable as well. You got four of these, and these are decent sized bowls. You can have soup, whatever you want in it. Definitely eat from those. You got four of those. Plates, tiny little plates. They're, they're pretty much the same diameter as the bowl which kind of makes sense because it is like a nesting sort of system. And then small little plates, uh, it doesn't show on the bottom of the plate how to put it back. Little plates, just four of these, but it's very cool. It's like, it's like the size of my hand. It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but uh, honestly, very cool. Such a compact little thing. Let's flip out the last couple of things. What do we got here? We have the cutting board. Just like kind of like got like knurled feel or like a texture type of feel. It is like a thick, dense green plastic. Great for cutting. Obviously, you're not going to be able to cut a crazy amount of things. If you had to cut an onion, you definitely could. Uh, the onion might spill off on the side or something like that a little bit. But a nice little cutting board in a pinch. Um, I think you're able to fit in some sort of knives in here. If uh, like if I wanted to, maybe I could put something like this in here. As long as this green part would close, I might be able to get away with something like that. Uh, maybe this pocket knife's a little bit too thick, but I think if you did have something uh, a little bit thinner, you could throw a knife in there, get away with a knife in there, or maybe a small little thing, maybe like uh, a lighter or something to start your, your camping stove. You could probably fit in there. You got these four little sporks or spoon fork combinations. I don't, they, it's a nice kind of uh, plastic. It doesn't feel like they're gonna chip or break or anything like that. Same plastic as pretty much all of these. Interesting, they do have label uh, number one, <laughs> two, three, and then four. Funny, you got four of those. Perfect for the bowls and everything. This is, uh, I guess, like a pot holder. And also, when you're done cooking and the pot has like boiling water or something, place it down on the table, 
or wherever you want on there. Just, just so it doesn't damage the surface. This is like a really nice sort of um, silicone dishwasher safe. Very cool. It says Stanley on it. It's got some nice grip to it. Very cool. And then uh, lastly, we got the plate stand. A uh, very interesting little um, inclusion to this. I guess you wash everything. There should be eight slots for the bowls and the plates, or I don't know if it'll all fit at the same time. Oh, I guess they would. So I guess you wash it, and you, to set it to dry, you set it in these little indents here. Whoop. And I think they should all fit. It's kind of nesting in itself when it's drying, but that's very cool. So it actually dries because if you just set them all together, all four bowls together, all four plates together, and just throw it in there, there's gonna be water trapped in here. So you definitely don't want anything growing in there. So this is really nice that it comes with just like a small little sort of drying rack. Let's see if I can get them all in there. Tight fit the plates to be honest. But they're they're really in there, and you let that dry. All right, what a cool little thing. Uh, the last thing I want to do is put it back together and go from there. Just pop them out. Wow, those plates are pretty tight in there. I don't have to worry about them blowing away or anything like that. All right, let's see if I can do this. You got the bowls, the plates. I believe it goes plates, bowls. Got this. Let's see if I can just do it from memory. These sporks. Can go right here get the cutting board goes on top of it i believe this is the bottom i believe it goes plates i believe it goes bowls i gotta undo those i believe those go inside of the bowls and i think the frying pan sort of collapses on itself and goes over the bowls let's get it to it's a tight fit for sure <laughs> Gotta line it up. <laughs> is this uh, is this right? Yeah, I feel like it is, but I could be wrong. Da, da, da. Okay, the green thing, the rubber part, the sporks, the cutting board, the plates, the bowls, the spoons. And uh, the handles, yeah, it's, it's supposed to fit this way. Just kind of got to get it at the right angle. Oh, man. <laughs> it's kind of tough to get this in here, to be honest. Maybe I should do this. Put it like this. I think I'm going to try putting the bowl in it first. And then setting it down. Ah, not even. It's, it's such a tight fit. I know it goes in there. How do you drop it? You have to drop it just at the completely parallel with itself. Oh yeah, come on. I don't want to just shove it in there. I don't want to get stuck or anything. Hmm. So this part is not my favorite. There we go. That took way too long. I feel like that part was honestly a little bit frustrating. <laughs> So, just some truth there, and actually I think this part goes through the handle. I mean, honestly, once you get everything in there, it's kind of amazing that they got it all to fit inside of here. So, my overall opinion of this thing, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was. The plates are about the size of my hand, uh, not too big. I do like that it comes with four plates, four bowls, four sporks. Um, you got the little drying rack, you got the little cutting board, you got the nice spoon, the nice spatula, it's got a frying pan in here, uh, it's pretty sweet. I definitely like the sort of vented top that you can use as a strainer, I do like the elastic band, kind of holds it together, and I do like how it's pretty small. If you wanted to, you could throw this in a backpack with a little stove, and just, you got your whole like kitchen set in here. Uh, it'd be cool if they included like a little knife, since they do have a cutting board, I wish that, or like somehow a set of cups. That would have been like the ultimate uh, base camp set. But honestly, this thing is pretty sweet for what it is. I'm super happy with it. Oh wait, I didn't even realize on the side of it, there is some sort of uh, levels. You got one liter, three liters, 34 ounces, 101 ounces. Very cool. On the inside, I'm sure it's kind of the uh, pressed out version of that. So it's really cool to see that. Yeah, because uh, I remember on the smaller tumbler version that I have, it does have sort of measurements on the side, so it's cool to see if they even have that for the bigger version. 
Uh, again, the size, I really like the size of it, how small and compact everything fits in here. You'd never guess if you just sewed someone this and you say, guess what's inside? I doubt that they'd say four plates, four bowls, four sporks, some spoons, and all of that, and a frying pan. Like, honestly, if you took your kitchen and went through it and grabbed four plates, four bowls, four sporks, a cutting board, a frying pan, if you and like a drying rack, if you grabbed all of that, that would easily take up so much space probably like a, a giant like tote or something like that with all of the cooking wear. This is just a fantastic kind of nesting design. Great for camping, great for cooking out there. Definitely making all sorts of pasta and dishes in the forest, absolutely love it. And yeah, overall I think this is a great product. I'm excited to use it. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy these type of things. I really enjoy uh, filming this stuff and going over these type of products. I love camping, I love outdoorsy things. And I think this is just a great little product. I love. I just, I just love the idea of it, and I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. I just want to say thanks for stopping by, everyone. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and I'll catch you all in the next one. And uh, keep on keeping on, and have a wonderful day.